Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League 2 Predictions. All the midweek games have been played. A um, few results going against the odds. A few results a bit of a shock, you could say. A few results a bit unexpected. Um, guys, but you know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs come the end of the season. Um, the best way you can help me is uh, sharing my videos. Um, and letting people know about my channel um, and let's see if we get to a thousand subs together um, and there is a special video um, when the thousand subs if or when the thousand subs do happen um, whether it's this season or next season there is a bit of an advantage point if we reach it this season then rather nets, but you ain't gonna know that until this thousand subs is reached, and that then you're gonna know the full scale why I've said it this way. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what I do, so you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm gonna kick off with is Exeter versus Plymouth. Plymouth beating Lake Norgan at home for nil. Um, great three points for Plymouth. Exeter is one of the shocks, if you like, from this midweek lot of games. Um, losing 3 1 away to Scumford. Uh, great three points for Scumford. Um, very much off the cuff, um, especially in my opinion. I don't know what it's like in yours. Um, please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, well as, as I said for me, it's very much off the cuff. Um, this, this game for this weekend is very much interested. I'll be, I'm more interested in this game now than what I would have been if, for example, Exeter did beat Scunthorpe. And, you know, because of the results of how I've gone, this one got to be more interested, but we're going to have to wait and see to see what happens. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Plymouth Argyle win. My next one is Colchester versus Newport. Newport uh, drawing at home to Crawley, 1-1. Colchester, 0-0 away to Crew Alexander. Great point for Colchester. Disappointing point on the Newport perspective. Um, I know I put them down to win that one. Um, you know, let's not f forget about how well Newport do at home, how dangerous they are in League 2, but a disappointing day in the office for Newport. Great point for Colchester, um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Crawley Town versus Swindon Town. Crawley, just that you mentioned them, one one away to Newport. Swindon Town winning one nil at home to Stevenage. <laughs> Swindon result is probably more expected than a couple of results that's gone in the midweek games. Um, but fair play to Crawley for getting that uh, point up at uh, Newport. As I said, Swindon Town's probably expected, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Forest Green versus Crew Alexander. Just that you mentioned Crew Alexander. 0-0 um, at home to Colchester. Um, Forest Green, 2 0 winners at home, uh, sorry, away from home against Morecambe. No result really shout surprise. The only one I probably am a bit, you know, sort of surprised about is that Crew Alexander result, um, not being able to beat Colchester. But it proves that anyone could do anything on their day. And this is what this week has proven to be in League 2. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Forest Green win. 
My next one is Grimsby Town versus Cheltenham. Cheltenham beating Macclesfield at home 3 0. Grimsby Town 0 0 away to Cambridge. Great point for Grimsby, I've got to say. Um, you know, no real big um, surprise at Cheltenham, but a great point for Grimsby. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1. Chowton and win for that one. My next one is St. Norio versus Carlisle. Carlisle losing 2 0 at home to Northampton Town. St. Norio losing 4 0 away to Plymouth Argyle. Um, no big real surprises again in these two results with. The likes of Carlisle or Lake Norian. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 0 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Macclesfield versus Bradford. Bradford losing 2 1 at home to Port Vale. Great three points for Port Vale. I'll speak more about that in a bit. Um, Macclesfield losing 3 0 away to Cheltenham Town. So both of these teams are going into the weekend games with a defeat on the midweek games. This is going to be an interesting game going forward. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Newport, uh, not Newport, sorry, Northampton Town. Versus Cambridge United. Cambridge 0-0 um, at home to Grimsby Town. Northampton Town beating Carlo United 2-0 away from home. Great three points from uh, Northampton Town. A uh, bit of a disappointing day for Cambridge. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Port Vale versus Oldham. Port Vale had a great day at um, Bradford, beating them 2 0, uh, 2 1 away from home. Um, Oldham are beat, they beat Walsall 2 0 at home. Great three points for both clubs. Um, Port Vale, you know, being away from home, it's not easy either, so. You know, it's probably a bigger three points for Port Vale, um, obviously being away from home. But Old have still done their job at home with Walsall. Um, you know, with the likes of how Walsall are doing this season. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Port Vale win. My next one is Sulphur City versus Scunthorpe. Um, Scunthorpe United beating Exeter 3-1 at home. Sulphur City beating Macclesfield 2-1 away from home. Great three points for both clubs again. Um, Scunthorpe fans got to be jumping for joy after that result. Um, Salford, um, you know, beating Mansfield, sorry. 2-1 away from home. Um, you know, great three points for both teams. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Scunthorpe win. I'm expecting Scunthorpe to turn up again in the next game. My next one is Stevenage versus Morecambe. Stevenage losing 1-0 away from home to Swindon Town. Morecambe losing 2-0 at home to Forest Green. So yet again, both teams are going into this game with a defeat from the pre, uh, from the midweek games. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My last one for the weekend is Walsall versus Mansfield. Um, Mansfield losing two-one at home to Salford City. 
Walsall losing 2-0 away from home against Oldham. Both teams are yet again going in with a defeat from the midweek games. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. You've just heard a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.